Hi, and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I just wanted to thank you all for all of your kind emails and messages, and I received quite a lot of suggestions, but probably the most common question I received until now is what are my favorite art supplies? So that's why I wanted to dedicate this first video to this topic. Top art supplies for watercolor painting. I really hope this video will help you to find your perfect art supply toolbox. So let's get started. I would like to start with paper because in my opinion paper is probably the most important thing in watercolor and the thing I do not recommend to save on. So invest in your paper. My absolute favorite brand is Arches and I usually buy it in these big sheets of paper so it's huge. <laughs> This is a 300 gram, 100% cotton paper. I use cotton paper for all of my illustrations and I will tell you why. And one more thing is that you can find this paper with different textures or grains. There is torsion, which is very rough texture, fin and satin. So I use satin texture. It's very smooth. It almost looks like a regular paper for drawing because it's that smooth. And actually it allows me to work on even tiny details with ease. This paper is very good for scanning. So what do I mean when you scan an illustration and you have a textured paper, this texture might be visible on the scan. So this will not happen with this paper because it's so smooth and the texture is almost invisible. Why cotton paper? So you can't really say why it's better before you try it. The difference between cotton and cellulose paper is actually the physical composition of the paper. So cotton paper made, is made of cotton fiber and um, cellulose paper is made of cellulose fiber, which is wood basically and it will not give us the same effect when you paint. So cotton paper absorbs water much better. It's much more resistant and it allows us to create layers of color, one on top of the other, without damaging the previous layers. This paper can hold a lot of layers and that's exactly what we need if you want to create a realistic and vibrant illustration. So the second paper I want to show you is Fabriano Artistico. This is how it looks like, the same. So you can buy the sheets of paper, just like the Arches paper, same size. But I have this album here. I just take one sheet or what you can do is paint directly here. And because sheets are glued together, your paper will be less distorted when you paint. So this is actually something very nice about these albums. And as for the texture or grain, it's um, satin, uh, hot pressed. This paper is very, very nice too. So it behaves quite similarly to Arches paper. The only significant difference I found between these two papers is that Arches, you can do anything. If you want to lift up some paint, if you made a mistake and you want to kind of um, lift off a little bit of your watercolor, you can do it with arches. And I think it's much more difficult with Fabriano. If you accidentally made a stroke or a layer and you want to go dig into it with your brush and kind of erase it a little bit with water, I think it's going to be a bit more complicated with this particular paper. But otherwise, it is perfect as well. So these are my two favorite brands, Fabriano Artistico and Arches cotton papers. The next thing I wanted to talk about is watercolor paint. I like this Russian brand, Nevskaya Palitra. This set is called Leningrad. I have this set for years, as you can see. It's a bit tired, but the quality is very good. It's super affordable. As you can see, some of the colors are quite gone, but if you want, you can just buy one and replace it. So the other brand I'm now using is Etcher. As you may know, I made a couple of classes with Etcher and they were super nice to send some of their art supplies to me. And one of the things I got from them is this watercolor set. I like it. Colors are quite saturated. The quality is good. So it's really up to you. There are other brands like Windsor Newton, Schmincke, 
royal talents there are a variety of brands you can choose from and really just pick one you like now let's talk about brushes this set is from etcher but i filled it with other of my brushes as well so the most important thing about brushes that i usually use is that they should be synthetic so synthetic brushes round synthetic brushes with a sharp tip so what is the difference so this is a round brush and this is a flat brush if you look at them like this way you will see this one is actually flat and it gives you flat strokes and this one is round it has a sharp tip this one does not have a sharp tip so the brand does not really matter. If I can give you an advice, I would say invest in paper and not in brushes. Paper is really super important. Your artwork depends on the quality of your paper, but the brushes can be even cheap. Like sometimes I use these brushes, so these are like super cheap. This is just a normal brush I bought in a store near my house and it's very very inexpensive and it works just fine so i would say don't buy super expensive brushes right away if you're just starting out buy good paper but you can totally save on brushes so this is etcher brush and i have a few here so this is from rafael this one is from tintoretto i think it's italian brands and then i have this random brushes and da vinci so as you can see, there are many, many brands you can try. So etcher brushes are a bit more expensive, but I think they last a bit longer than the other ones. But in any cases, synthetic brushes wear out and at a certain point you will need to replace them. So just be aware of this. And what I usually suggest is not to throw any of your old brushes away, but you can use them in different ways. You can paint uh, with gouache with them or you can apply masking fluid. It's just important to have at least two brushes when you're starting out, I think. So medium one and small one or three brushes, medium, small and large. And it's very handy to have this little brush case if you want to paint outside. These are very handy because it prevents your brushes from damaging. The last thing I will show you is just a very simple thing. This is my jar for water. Here you go. So it's very handy and you can use it for traveling. You can put it this way in paint. You can fold it. You can put it in any bag. And this one is from Faber Castell. That's everything about my favorite art supplies. And I will also put a list of all of the materials I showed you today in the video description. So check them out there if you've missed something. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.